up to bend to 90. All right, you run. There we go. All right, all you chuckleheads, here we go, man. We're going to bend to 90 here for you folks. This 90 wants to be 20 and an eighth. So I set this little mark here. So when I adjust this back, it's going to line up on the front of the shoe. Takes the guesswork out of trying to work two hands at one time. Take, be aware that I wasn't fighting or slamming anything. I set the cage, it latched. Now, the easy part is, Press the button and the magic starts to happen. <laughs> Most cases, when the factory settings on them, you might have to overbend. You can learn how to adjust the squeeze on this particular machine, It'll save you a lot of problems, and that way you can utilize the charts that are on this machine. All right, we're going to show this nice 90 with no ripples. Perfect 90. Look at that. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. And then, what's the chart? Chart is right there. Oh. Boom. So sometimes you got to adjust one over. So you just set the tension. Now, if you still have ripple problems, go to the side here. See, increase, you turn the wheel, which is this wheel right here. Take the screw out, we put a mark, turn the wheel, you can stick a screwdriver in the hole to turn it, pull the screw out, and then put the screw in and, and check your tension there.